Welcome. In this video, I'm gonna answer the question, can Salesforce Flow send an outbound message? My name's Brian Hayes. I'm a Salesforce consultant with Rotiv. We're an official partner of Salesforce and we train small businesses to automate their processes. If you find this video valuable, consider taking one of our courses at academy.rotiv.io. So outbound messages could only be sent through workflow rules and actions, but that's not the case anymore. Salesforce Flow is now able to send out an outbound message, and I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing you need to do is create the outbound message, which is still a workflow action, though you don't need to use a workflow rule anymore to actually trigger it. To create that outbound message, click the gear in the upper right-hand corner, go into the setup menu, search for outbound messages in the quick find, and it'll bring up the workflow actions area. We still need to create outbound messages here, and you have to have this first before you can trigger it from a flow. So let's create a new outbound message. Let's say we wanted to send details of an account to Zapier or some external system. We'll give it a name. You can add a description if you'd like, and then you would include your endpoint URL. I'm just gonna put in a fake one for our demonstration. And then you can also choose which user will be the, the sender of this message. Then of course you can add additional fields. So we'll of course pass the ID over there and let's choose the account name as well. And why not number of employees too? And then hit save. Once you have your outbound message created, we can then trigger it from a flow. Search for flows in the quick find and then click new flow in the upper right hand corner. One thing to note that this only works with record triggered flows. It won't work with any of these other options here. Choose record triggered flow. So we'll say whenever an account is updated to become a customer, maybe that's when we want the outbound message to run. I'll just choose type here equals customer. Of course, with this flow, you can have you know, any sort of conditions you'd like on the, on the record triggered flow here to start that outbound message. We'll have it only run when it's updated to meet those requirements, and then make sure you choose actions and related records. Then you can hit the plus button, select an action, and you'll see on the left, outbound message is an option. And from here, you'll see the different outbound messages that you've already created. If you don't see outbound message show up here on the left-hand side, that could be because you haven't created one yet. It's only gonna show up here if it's got something to show you under this actions dropdown. I'm gonna select my action and then we'll give it a name, send message and hit done. One thing to note is there's no place here for you to pass the record ID into the outbound message. So that's probably why it's limited to just record triggered flows. It's the record that triggered the flow that is being sent through that outbound message. We don't have any capability here to adjust that. And of course, those other flows that we have aren't tied to a specific record. So hopefully in the future, they might give us that capability to pass a record ID into an outbound message. And then with that, I'd expect it to show up in the different types of flows. But at least for now, uh, we can only do it on a record triggered flow, and it's going to send the message for that record that was updated or that started the flow. I hope that was helpful. If it was, please hit the like button and click subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.